what's up guys it's your girl lex and i'm back with another video sorry y'all my dog was running crazy so as you can see by the title today we're back in the kitchen of course making some more treats but this time as you can see we're doing caramel wrap pretzel rods these are super easy super simple and they're really a good delicious combo um so i know i enjoy making them i enjoy making all my treats honestly and truly but this is just like a really good fun treat to make and i'm gonna teach you guys how to make it um thank you guys for all the love you have shown the cotton candy strawberry video but y'all not showing no love to the other ones like what is going on I don't like that. No. Y'all gotta show love to all the videos. Y'all can't just be, you know, show favoritism and just, you know, like one video I went on like the other ones. So let's show the rest of the videos some love like we did the cotton candy strawberries and show this video love too once you see it. Um, if you haven't already, go subscribe, turn your post notifications on, you know, go click that bell, tell a friend to tell a friend to come subscribe because this way it's it. Um, you know, I really enjoy making videos for you guys and posting to my channel because I know it helps a lot of people out and I'm glad to be able to help people out. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Boom. Let's get into it. So, for today's class, what you will need, we will need some pretzel rides. My pretzel rides are already open. But you will need pretzel rides. I got these from my local Walmart. I don't know how much they were, but they came from Walmart. And you will need craft caramel. These are the squares. Now, do not go to the store and pick up the caramel bits. We do not use bits for these. Caramel bits is for caramel apples, which we will do another time, not today. So make sure it's the craft caramel squares, the ones that's individually wrapped in the wrapper just like this this is how they should look okay and of course you're going to need some chocolate you can use whatever kind of chocolate you want to use y'all know in our little videos that has something to do with chocolate we do um almond bark so that is the chocolate we will be using in today's video and if you don't have a tall melting pot um i know some people have and some people don't if not, just get you a really tall cup. That way you can pour your chocolate in there. And then all you have to do is just take your preps around and just bloop and pull it right back out. Simple, easy, boom, da da boom, you know? <laughs> well, um, I guess that's it. So I'll show you guys how to right, make right here already that I started on before the video even started. This is how you would create your preps around. So all you do is you're going to take three of your caramel chews and you're just gonna squish them together just like this i started on this and i was like wait let me stop and make this a youtube video so this is all i do you know i just squish them together just like this so once it's squished together what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in your hand and you're just gonna go back and forth making it long this is how you will determine how long you want to wrap it around your pretzel rod or how short you want to wrap it around your pretzel rod. But I highly recommend putting it around the entire pretzel rod. Stop. See, just like that, y'all, so, this is so simple and easy. This is all you have to do. Just stretch it out. So once you've stretched it out, you're going to take a pretzel rod. You're gonna get your preps rod and you're gonna start right here at the top. And then literally all you do is just wrap it around. You can go tight or you can go loose. It's up to you. There's no right or wrong way to do this. I promise you guys, it's not. So this is all you do. And if you want to make it longer, just twist it when you get to the part that you need some more for. And boom. 
Yeah, I'm telling you, this is super easy. Look at this. Super easy. Super easy. I don't want to hear no excuses of why nobody can do this. So I'm going to do one more. Oops. We'll do three in total. So this is all I do. I just take them and I squish them together, just like this, y'all see? And then I just go back and forth, just like this. Squishing them together. They're really tough at first to um to uh combine. So you have to put some strength behind it. But I'm telling you it's really easy. And once you do this, all you have to do next is just wrap it around after you do like that. So we have this part. So now we're just gonna, oops, be careful not to let it slip out your hand. So this is all you do next. Just go back and forth. Try to make your uh, caramel the same uh, length and size. Just like that. And then take a front of front. And we're gonna start here at the top. Just give it a little pressure. And then wrap. So we're just gonna make it a little bit longer. See? So you guys, now that we have all of our, all three of our pretzels wrapped, now it is time to melt our chocolate so we can dip. So, um, like I said, I'm using almond bark, so I'm just gonna go melt my almond bark and then we will be back. And we okay, so um, my melting pot will not be here until tomorrow, and this is the tallest cup that I had. Um, it's still not tall enough, but we're going to make it work, and um, yeah, so I melted my chocolate as you can see. So now I'm just gonna pour all of my chocolate into this cup and if you don't have a melting pot or a tall enough bowl I'm going to show you guys how to still complete these press rods I should have melted some more chocolate but um I was being lazy so all you do is just, you just take it and dip it in the chocolate now if you have more chocolate of course it would have dipped the whole thing, but my chocolate stopped way down there because I was being lazy. So what you do is when that happens, you just take your chocolate and you'll do it yourself like that. Hold on, put it over the bowl because I was making a mess. But if you don't even want to put it in the bowl, you can do it just like this instead of dipping it in your cup. You just take your spoon and cover it. So I'm showing you guys um, different methods to complete this. Oops, I lost the grip. So whichever method is easier for you. And once you've did it, you're just gonna shake off your excess chocolate. Just like that. Just shake it off. You're gonna hold it up. So y'all see that? Look at how pretty that is. And then you're just gonna whoop, 
I forgot, y'all. <laughs> After you do that, then just kind of lightly scrape the bottom so a lot of chocolate won't come off. And boom, it's just that easy. Okay, so my pretzel rods are completely dry. So I'm just gonna take my little piping bag here. If I can get it open. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I can't get it open. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm just gonna take it. Open it up just like that. Then I'm gonna take some chocolate and just pour it in. Don't need a lot. It doesn't take much. So I'm just gonna clip the tips. So what I like to do is just take it just like this. See? And just go back and forth. All the way to the end. Just like that. So I'm going to do one more and then leave one plain. With no drizzles. See? I'm just going to go back and forth. Really quickly. that simple y'all this is like the easiest treat to make you guys the well you guys that is it for the caramel wrapped pretzel fries i told you guys it was super simple and super easy to make so I cannot wait to see everybody's um, finished touches, finished project, finished work, whatever you want to call it. I can't wait to see you guys' addition to what I just taught you guys. It's super simple, super easy with just three ingredients. Three. How simple is that? So subscribe if you haven't already tell a friend to tell a friend to come subscribe make sure you turn that bell on get your post notification so you know every time i post a video give this video a thumbs up and make sure you guys go show love to our other videos on the channel and without further ado that's all i gotta say so i'll see you guys later Bye.